everybody thanks for tuning in welcome back to another sleep i make a video for those who are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button y'all it is absolutely free to support the kid you can also support me over there on tiktok by following me over there i do post on facebook as well they are all the same name slave at Mika, so you won't get confused anything counts share like the video comment that you have came and show some love in this video y'all we will be going over this particular rhinestone look this was inspired by a look um that i saw on instagram i will post the artist in the description box below but i'm doing a like five to six look tiktok video so this is one of the looks that's going on the tiktok video and if you are interested in how i achieve this look just continue to watch the video if you like this look and if you like the video just hit that thumbs up button don't forget to hit the notification bell just to be notified whenever i post new videos and let's get into this look room or two this is about and i'm gonna start applying this right to my lid i already did my brows like pretty much filled them in i did take this eyeshadow base and just start applying it to my lid so in this video i will be doing like a tiktok so i'll be simultaneously like recording this and recording the tiktok this is gonna be a tedious video but right now i'm just trying to put the base down so it can be nice and matte when i start applying my shadows all right so now that our eyes are nice and base the palette that we're going to be using today is going to be the chakra sensation palette this is by rich glamour cosmetics this is one of their first palettes that they sent me and i'm going to be jumping into this blue just using a very small brush to draw out my shape i like to use detail brushes to draw my shape because i feel like it helps me me apply the eyeshadow to the place that i want it to go I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a small brush and I'm gonna start applying like this burnt orange shade to my lid. And I'm, I'm placing it directly on top of that blue and don't forget we will go back in to put that blue back. But right now we want that placement of that orange shade. So that's why I got a small brush just to place that shade directly on top of the blue. And then I start going in with a red and placing that on top of this, this orange to make it more vibrant. Back into that blue and place that back in my crease. So we don't want to lose that color. We just want to add the other shade. Now that we look like this, I'm gonna jump back into that red and place that back on top. And this is just reassuring that those colors are nice and vibrant. Okay. A different brush, and this is more of a blend brush, and I'm gonna use that red and I'm gonna just start blending that shade. So I'm gonna start blending it. Just blending it on now. Here, do the same thing, just blend it out, and this is getting rid of those harsh lines. This palette is so pigmented that it doesn't matter like what, what color is underneath, whatever color you apply, it's true to a shade. It's definitely true to its shade, honey. All right, now this is how we look at use some micellar water and start cleaning my lid off and i think this is the best method to get that lid nice and, sh and sharp nice and clean then i'm gonna go in with the acid rain base again and i'm going with a concealer brush Now that I got the shape sort of like I want it, I'm going to go ahead and start filling in the sides. So I'm going to use that blue to fill those sides in. I'm 
a couple times and go in with my liner brush give it a couple swirls and then i'm going to fix the crease and everything and start applying Becky. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm applying Becky to my lid. And then I might go back in with that liner. So depending on everything, I might go back in. Okay. I need some glitter, honey. This is this is kind of turning out very pretty. Love it. It's a burgundy, like a dark burgundy, and start over here, just really closing it in. Up this far. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with that liner now because we got to draw the wing on. So that's how we are looking. I am going to um go over that. And I'm just placing a blue directly on top of that line to make it more matte and make it dry. Make sure it doesn't spread. It's a nice little trick. Just make sure that it's drying. Like don't do it when it's really, really wet. Do it when it's a little bit drier. Mm -hmm. The fact that I put a uh, eyeshadow over the eyeliner, it makes it super easy for me to start applying my rhinestone. So. I'm just going to apply the glue. I'm going to use the Revlon um, 12 hour stay, 16 hour stay grip primer. This is a very good primer. It definitely grips your makeup and it also mattifies it. It's very the consistency is very smooth. It um it's very soft. It makes your face soft. It fills your pores as well, and it seems like it moisturizes your skin all in that process. So it's a very good affordable primer. Just place that. Oh, I'm gonna try to do my face fast, and I'm gonna go in with this Milani um conceal and perfect concealer in the shade Coco. And we're just gonna contour our nose. I do like it because it does have like this little sponge, mm -hmm. but it does seem like the sponge absorbs most of the product. So you have to really press that in. But other than that, it's fine. 
it distributes the product the way it's supposed to. So I'm gonna go in with a brush and just blend out that contour. And it's definitely not a heavy contour. So you probably have to go back in once applying your foundation. This is one thing that you probably can't underpaint with because of the fact that it um, is very light coverage. So you really can't do too much of underpainting with this particular product. So knowing that now, I'm going to go in with some Juvia's Place Shade Sticks and underpaint with that. I'm gonna get a concealer brush. Squint over where I went before. This is a more thick cream consistency. So it's definitely medium to full coverage. Easier for underpainting. So if you wanna underpaint, try to use something that is medium to full coverage and not light coverage, cause you're not gonna be able to see the actual um, contour. I'm just gonna blend that in. And it's gonna be one of those fast faces. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and blend in my nose contour as well. Blend that on in. I like a very snatched nose, so yeah. That's, that's what we're looking for. I don't know why my nose be leaning. The side, the side of the... Yeah. And that's that. Now I'm going to go in with some Tarte Tape Shape Concealer and I'm going to start applying that directly underneath of my, um, my eyes. Okay. And on my chin area. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. I'm also going to go in with some Milani. And I'm going to go directly on top, but start spreading it over to get that bright under eye. And I'm going to let that sit. Okay. So two foundations today. The first foundation I'm going to be mixing is called the NYX Bear With Me Foundation, which is very good, but it's too light. It's not my skin tone. So I am going to mix that with some Morphe foundation, the Fluidy Mix Foundation. And this is in the shade um, F480. So I'm going to just mix that. Mixing these two particular foundations give my get my exact shade. Uh, I'm going to show you right now. Okay. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. All right. Letting that be. I'm going to start blending in my foundation remember the concealer is still getting tacky underneath my eyes so i'm gonna start blending that foundation both of these foundations are full coverage foundations so um a little do go a long way when you are dealing with a full coverage foundation you want to make sure you don't use a lot of product if you don't want that look like i use a lot of product because i like real full coverage like i like a real full coverage look but you necessarily don't need to use all the product you can literally build coverage with certain foundations. I'm just gonna blend that in. Okay. And you do have to remember when picking your foundations that foundation do oxidize. So you don't wanna pick a foundation that is exactly your skin tone. Um, if that makes sense, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but you wanna pick a foundation that if it gets darker, you won't look too dark. It won't be too off. Because once the foundation starts oxidizing, then we have a problem. And I'm just going to stop blending in that concealer. Both of those concealers was full coverage as well. So you don't have to let it dry down matte as much as I did. You just have to let it um, stay on your face just for a few seconds. And then you can start blending it out. I would recommend you let it dry down too, too um, long. Because it will be hard to blend out at that time. But if it do, if you do happen to make that error, just go in with setting spray. And it should be able to... It should once you spray it with some setting setting spray. 
and shut that up. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Don't be scared if you blend out your concealer and you realize your contour has disappeared. I wanna go back in with that same brush. Before you even add more contour, just go back in whatever is on that brush and blend it out. If it's not enough, then add contour. And then go in with your setting powder. Now this is not a super brightening setting powder because it's in the, it's in the shade Translucent Honey. Um, if you want a really bright setting powder, you want to go back over it with a white setting powder with a translucent. So I'm going to go over it with this. And this is because I want that very smooth look when I set my face. And then to highlight it, I'm going to go in with a brighter powder. So This is just the set. Make sure it's not creasing. You want to look up to avoid any type of creasing. Okay, so taking a powder puff, I'm going to go ahead and start setting this out of my nose. Really bringing in that nose snatch. Start off with this baby blue, just if you don't know what Working with earlier, I didn't add any to the brush because it's kind of some already on there. And I'm just going to start smoking it out. Uh, blue out of the No Limitations palette. Brush to just sweep away a lot of that fallout from that blue. Sweep that on some. I'm going with that pink blush right there. This is from my Beauty Bakery um palette and just apply that so i'm gonna apply my lashes dust off the powder and put my highlight on and then i'll be right back thanks so much for watching and this is the end of the video y'all i just added my stay golden cosmetics glitter lip kit in the shade skylar to my lips and yes set that look off if you have not already did so hit that subscribe button and i will see you on the next video